from St. Vincent. Yes, and? No, but he's he not from here. He's not from here. So that means the car went road march. So then it makes me wonder, isn't part of the message of this song and part of the message of the way you guys operate, not only you and Marshall, but Marshall and his whole posse of producers from up the island, from Dominica, from Martinique. St. Lucia. St. Lucia, yeah. <laughs> the Lucian Posse. Isn't this a message to us as Trinis to open up our minds and try to understand what Caribbean unity really is? Yeah, that's, a, that's the itchy question. First of all, that hits on a couple of things. Change is inevitable. That's one. Life is everlasting. That's two. Three, what got you here will not get you there. You have to leave old thinking behind. You know, a lot of people because you just keep talking about the way mass used to be and the way fets used to be and the way carnivals used to be. Why we can't give out the dollar value to be the way it used to be? <laughs> One dollar to two fifty years. You think it will go back? Why we can't get bread to go back to be two dollars? You think it will go back? These things going forward. You know, you have to you have to know that life is everlasting and going forward and ever increasing and ever you know, getting more and more value. So, we have these rules of what is road march. And everybody likes to think, what is road march? But do you really sit down and know what is a road march? Somebody like me who have nine road marches. And I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to pop my collar or beat my chest. <clears throat> but I'm saying it takes an ability or a, a level of awareness to be able to understand first what it is and then how to replicate it and i realize it is a critical mass road matches are feeling when everybody feel that you're talking something that they feel they agree with they're going to support it it has to have a right melody it has to have the right tempo of the entire nation it has to have the right message. Like, you know, songs like Jumbo when they say, We ready, we ready, we ready, ready for mass again. You know, be ready for mass again is real. When you have a message, some, something like somebody like TV or like, come along. And slow the tempo right down. And everybody decided to go with that tempo. I had one of those years with Like a Boss. When I went, the tempo went half time. I didn't intend it to be a road march, but when, when, when we fet in, you know, every day is fet, I come out of fet, I better fet in more than you. I just do it like a boss. Everybody wants to see that. So when you have the ability to take these messages from the sky or from the ether, or from the babbling stream that you're sitting on by and you get these messages that come into your head. You have to understand that these messages are available to everybody too, if everybody tuning in to write. And once you could tell that message the right way and you could put melody to it, people will sing it, sing it, sing it until it become an overwhelming truth. And it's a critical mass. And then everybody chooses it. A lot of people talk about Soka Mafia and you can't go and play something on the road, on a truck, on that stage that the people don't want to jump to and get through. You can't stop it from happening. Road match is always what the people want. And it's not like a competition anymore that we, we had rules to it. This rule that we went to check to make sure that Skinny Fabulous and I and Bungie could win this road match. This rule came up in 1998. I sure nobody really know that when I sang Toro Toro with Shaggy, and I was going for the road march. And nobody wanted Toro Toro to be the road march because they said it was red and it was blood and these mad bulls and it's this and it's evil. And they choose footsteps. Now, red and mad bull, if you have the mad bull fever, dun, 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 dun. It's it a little frightening and the bulls running through town. And this was a road march. I won road march in 1997 Big with Big Truck. And it was such a bacana. And again, Barbados was 1996, had the Bajan invasion. Alison Hines, Crossfire, then Liquia, Rupi, this one. And I was vexed. I was like, man, we get our ass cut. Trinidadians, how come? 
And I went in deep and I was like, you know what? I need to come within 97, the biggest ever come in my life. I need to win the road march. I need to. How to do it? And I sit down think, thinking, what is the biggest topic in the road march? Come on, Marshall, think, think, what is the biggest thing? And boom, it's it, the big truck. I was like, yeah, everybody want to jump up on it. Everybody want to run behind it. Everybody want to wind up on it. I'm going to write about this big truck. I became the road march. And it was so phenomenal. We crossed the stage. When we crossed the stage, people wanted more and more of it. And I tell them, all right, listen, you're supposed to cross the stage and come off. Sorry, I'm talking long, eh? But I'll come to the point. Usually, usually. I'll come to the point. <laughs> you know, these points, these points are important. So we cross the stage, and when the truck reached here, and everybody wanted to go down the ramp, the people wanted more and more. And I said, all they want to run back on the stage, all they want to run back on the counter four. Then I said, charge, all they run back. And I said, charge, and we play with this song, and everybody started to run backwards. And it became a bacchanal, where people were going so, who coming so, and it was like a bacchanal. And then we sit down, Ash Wednesday, me and my partner, Cash, and we said, yes, so let me go charge back on that stage, boy. So it's your fault that this running back thing started? Yeah, it's I, right? And, and we say, yeah, well, then you run all these boys, boy. I was like, that is your Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday, we had to go to road charge. Ash Wednesday, 1997 wrote this song and then it become this dark thing when people was like you know when you win a road match one year automatically the masses don't want you to win the next year mm. they automatically want anything other than yours mm -hmm. they want to have somebody to fight you point in case they want something they like the underdog they don't want to make it easy especially when they're giving them exactly what they need to cross the stage they want to fight you to me i learned to use that as encouragement. I used to learn to use that to, to, to propel me over that, that stress. So I love it. 